Well, hello and welcome to The Homemade Songwriter. I'm Matt, and today we're going to talk about four songwriting myths. Songwriting and writing music in general can be a really mysterious process. It feels like there's this inspiration and beautiful ideas just kind of come out of nowhere, and songwriters just sit around and drink coffee and think about beautiful thoughts, and then these amazing songs come pouring out. And often that's even the narrative that's pushed in popular media. There'll be some artist on a late show who's being interviewed, and, oh, I woke up in the middle of the night and I had this idea. So I rolled over half asleep and scribbled down the idea. I woke up and it was a number one hit song. But the reality of writing music is much different than that. So because of all these false narratives, there's these myths that float around about songwriting. And today I want to speak to a couple of them. And myth number one is one that really kind of drives me crazy. And that's the skill of songwriting is something you either have or you don't. You either are blessed by the inspiration gods or you're not. You're either creative or you're not. And that's just simply not true. Songwriting is a skill. And like any skill, it's something that can be learned and developed over time. If you work on songwriting, if you continue to write songs, you will get better at writing songs. Just like if I decided to take up skateboarding right now, I would be very bad. And so it could be really easy for me to say skateboarding is either something you can do or you can't. But the reality is if I put some time and effort towards learning how to skateboard, I would get better at it. Now, of course, just like with any other skill, everybody has their own level of natural ability that they're coming to the table with. But at the end of the day, that doesn't really matter because there could be somebody who has a lot of natural ability right from the start. And so they kind of lean on that like a crutch and they never work on the areas that they're weak on. They don't practice that much at songwriting and then they don't really end up getting that much better than whatever their entry level natural ability was, which on the flip side of that, maybe there's someone who comes to the table with almost no natural ability, but they're willing to put in the work and put in the reps of writing and writing and writing and working on areas they're bad at and practicing and releasing songs and trying again. And at the end of the day, that person who's willing to work hard is going to be a lot more successful in their songwriting than the person who started with more natural ability. Myth number two is that most artists write all their songs by themselves. Now this myth is interesting because I sort of want to believe this. I want to believe that if I'm listening to this artist that they wrote the song and I'm hearing everything from their voice, from their story, um, but it's simply not true. The truth is that most songs are co-written by either a team of songwriters pitching songs to artists or that artist and their team of writers. And that may immediately strike you as wrong, but at the end of the day, these artists want to put out the best music they can. They they want to write the best songs. And so writing with a team of people doesn't really take any of the artistic integrity out of the writing process. Because oftentimes the artist will bring their story, their truth from their life to these artists to help flesh it out. And two heads, three heads, five heads is better than one. So at the end of the day, they're going to write a better song than they would by themselves. And it's not 100% across the board. There are definitely songs that artists write by themselves. But on a whole, co-writing is a much more common process in songwriting. So if you're someone that thinks that you got to do it all by yourself, you don't. Find some friends, find some people who like to write music and people that you get along with and begin to write together. Myth number three in songwriting and music is that overnight success happens overnight. Now, this is one that I hear a lot where an artist will say something like, you know, a long time ago I had nothing. I was living on my friend's couch with no money. I recorded a song and put it on SoundCloud, went to bed, woke up, and the next day I was making millions of dollars and now I'm this number one artist and I'm touring the world. Now I'm not saying that that can't happen, that it hasn't happened, but the truth behind this myth is that overnight success usually takes years of work and writing and releasing songs before it hits. I think this is discouraging to new songwriters because maybe you wrote a couple songs and you're really proud of them and you record them and you release an EP and then 20 people hear it. And then you think to yourself, okay, I guess I don't have it, whatever that it factor is. I'm not a songwriter. And I don't want that to be you. If you're watching this channel, you like songwriting and you want to release music, I want you to keep releasing. Every time you write a song and release it, write an album and release it, you're getting better. And it's very possible that a couple years down the road, you could release a song that can go viral and then people are going to think, oh, you're an overnight success. But you and I will know that there's been years years of songs that you've released that went nowhere that led to that overnight success. And the fourth and final myth is that you can't write a song unless you're feeling inspired. The truth is that songwriting is more like a muscle and something that needs to be worked out day in and day out to get stronger. When you schedule time to write and you write a little bit every day and get stronger and developing that songwriting muscle, what happens is your inspiration begins to work for you rather than the other way around. I think most songwriters start out working for their inspiration, i.e. they get inspired, they feel the inspiration strike, and they begin to write. But sometimes they haven't developed the songwriting muscle enough to even be able to carry that inspiration through finishing a song. So if you spend time writing and getting better at writing and learning how to finish writing songs, then when inspiration does strike, you have the strength to be able to carry through and keep that inspiration going and finish a song. One of my favorite artists, Ben Rector, put it this way once. He said, songwriting is a lot like fishing. And so a good fisherman, you know, fishes every day and can always catch a fish whether it's a big fish or a small fish, but he can always catch a fish because he's learned how to fish. He's baited the hook hundreds of thousands of times. He's driven his boat all over these waters and he knows where the fish are. So he's worked out that muscle of being able to catch a fish. And every once in a while, you'll hook a big fish, like a hit song. But if you haven't practiced and put in the effort up to that point of learning how to catch a fish and how to bring it in, actually get it onto the boat, then when you finally hook that big fish, that hit song, you might not be strong enough or have this experience to be able to reel it in. So make your inspiration work for you. Get strong enough to reel
reel in the big fish by writing every day and working out that songwriting muscle. If you need help writing some songs and getting some inspiration, check the description. We've got a couple free guides. There's 30 songwriting prompts to help jumpstart your creativity, as well as a chord progression cheat sheet. Those should get you on the road to writing a bunch of songs. But that's it for this one. Keep writing, and we'll see you in the next one.